What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Barbas. All you new subscribers, welcome. So the day has finally come where I'm gonna be working on the Civic. I also gotta work on this Civic. I'm gonna do some brake pads really quick. And after that, I'll go ahead and start on this Civic. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'll continue recording in a few minutes. Alright, so I'm completely done with this Civic. I did the brakes on that, so I'm about to start on this one. And before I do anything, I want to go down there and I'm going to release the crankshaft pulley, the bolt that holds it. Because if I can't release that now, then it's going to be a problem later on. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle that. And then after that, I'll go ahead and remove my axles. All right. You guys can see how rusty this is. I haven't moved this car in a while. But you see that bolt right there? I gotta release that. That's the first thing I gotta do. Cause like I said, if I don't take that off now, that's gonna definitely be a problem later on. So I went ahead and I released the power steering. I removed it. I drained most of it in there. And basically the reason I did that is because I am gonna take, um, let's see where it went, right here. I am gonna take this. This is like a plumber's wrench or something. And I'm gonna wrap it around this pulley right here and then I don't know if you guys remember the last time I went to Harbor Freight I bought this thing that I told you that I would need so basically I put my 17 millimeter on there I stick it in there I use my floor jack jack stand to hold it right there so I'm not putting pressure down because if I don't have it on there it's just gonna you see the difference lean down I don't want it to lean down so I'm gonna have it right there then that connector is gonna go right here and then this piece is gonna go right here and then this is gonna make force in the opposite direction once I chain it around So then I take this pipe, I stick it in here, and I got my other one right there that's going to lock right into this motor mount when I spin it. It's loose. I got her loose. I'm just gonna put her back in a little bit and just let her be. And that's how I released that, that bolt. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my suspension apart and I'm gonna release my, my axles on both sides.
Alright, so the GoPro died, so I went inside and I threw it on the charger. And while it was charging, I came out here and I reassembled my suspension because I want the car to look like there's nothing going on. I don't want to leave the car on jack stands or anything like that. So I reassembled everything, the axle is off. I threw the axle back here you guys can see it where it's at so now I'm gonna do the other side the other axle and then I'm gonna reassemble my whole suspension back again so I can lower the car and leave it down um, after that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drain all my fluids so drain my oil, drain my uh, antifreeze, disconnect my fuel line, and then disconnect my whole wire harness and remove the intake right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and start doing that.
And that's how I do that. So now that you guys seen the suspension's all back together, nothing's really like tying down like hard or anything. Everything's pretty much hand tying, even the lug nuts, just to make the car look like there's nothing going on. I'll close my hood, clean up my tools, and the car will just sit there like normal. But I got both of the axles off. I think what I'm gonna do next is take my intake off, take the distributor. I'm gonna take a screwdriver for the distributor. And I'm gonna mark my timing right here. I'm gonna put the screwdriver right here at the edge like that. And I'm gonna smack it with the hammer. That way I'll have a fresh mark on there. So when I go ahead and I put the distributor back on, I know where to put it. And I'm not gonna disconnect the wires from over here. I'm just gonna pull them from over here. That way this whole thing comes off as one piece. And then when I did my motor swap, I labeled all these plugs. So all these blue tags that you guys see, these are all labels. What goes where, pretty much. So I'm gonna disconnect all that harness, take my intake off, and then I'm gonna drain the fluids afterwards. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and I disconnected all my uh, wire harness all the way around. Um, I disconnected my fuel line from over here to here. And then I went ahead and I disconnected the other part of the fuel line right here. And the battery's off too. I'm gonna take it inside, throw it on the charger and I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video here. It's getting kind of late. I got some other stuff I gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, post this video up so you guys could see what's going on. And then I still owe you guys the, what's it called? The draining of the fluids that I didn't do. I still gotta do that. I gotta drain the radiator and I gotta drain the oil out of the motor. After that, I'm thinking of taking the head off, taking the exhaust system off, and then taking the head off. And then taking the, the short block and the transmission off later on. So that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys are liking this process. I'm going to go ahead and order some parts. Today I'm going to record it, and maybe by Wednesday 
that video will be up also so till then i'll catch you guys on my next video peace out stay safe catch you guys later oh yeah don't forget to hit that uh like button peace